The intro movie for Fallout 2 shows the Vault 13 doors opening and a family waving, only to be eliminated by an Enclave force. A random encounter in Fallout 3 shows Amada being accosted by a small group of Enclave soldiers, only to be shot once she reveals the location of Vault 101. Why does the Enclave kill any Vault dwellers that they find? Well, it's quite obvious that the Enclave detests mutants. That's not all. The Enclave detests anyone that isn't part of the Enclave. It's two times now, once in Fallout 2 and the other in Fallout 3, that the Enclave has attempted to mass eliminate the people of the Wasteland. To them, the humans outside the Enclave weren't human at all, so it didn't really matter if you were a pure, non-irradiated Vault Dweller. If you weren't born into the Enclave, you would be in the Enclave's sights. Though, there are a few instances of the Enclave seeking help from Wastelanders, 